when I teach my MBA students about Nokia and how Nokia failed to, to respond to the iPhone, how Kodak failed to respond to the digital imaging revolution, I say to them, I say to them what went wrong? And they'll say, well, they, did, they missed the market. They didn't see the change coming. And unfortunately, that's absolutely not true. Do established firms get in trouble because they don't see the iceberg coming? No, what they do is they, they actually create iceberg committees. They actually build iceberg monitoring equipment to enable them to sort of follow what's happening without actually changing course. This is an image of Kodak's original invention of the digital camera. Kodak invented digital photography back in the early 1980s. Far from missing that trend, they actually created that trend. And that image here is designed to remind you of one important fact about the smartphone revolution, which is that Nokia, in the year 2005, two years before the iPhone was launched, Nokia had a working prototype of a touchscreen phone. So Nokia's engineers could see that the future might be, they didn't know for sure, but they thought it might be in touchscreen technology. They had the prototype, the chief executives at Nokia decided not to commercialize those things. Why did they not do it? Because they weren't sure how it would pan out. They could see that there was stuff happening, but they were not in any way certain that this was the right thing to do. And of course, they were making huge amounts of money in their traditional businesses. So we see companies absolutely spotting these waves of change, if that's a wave of change, I like to break the responding process into two parts. There's the first part, which is sensing change happening, looking around you, coming to conferences, talking to industry experts, buying magazines. You know that digital technology is affecting your various organizations. I work at London Business School. I'm absolutely certain that I know how online teaching, distance learning, e-learning is affecting my industry. I can see it happening in real time. We're building awareness, we're building capability, but that is a very, very easy thing to do. It doesn't cost very much money to sense. The difficult thing is the shifting towards this new future. And whenever you see big companies fail, they've almost always got the first part right and the second part wrong. <laughs>